Okay. Okay, so, uh, how long have we known each other? Uh, 22, 23 years? Like long time. Vera was one of my first students when I first started teaching. We went on to have quite, quite a career touring Europe. Yeah. Theatres, do you want to talk about some of the bands you've played with? Uh, yeah, I've been in like um, all girl rock bands, quite a few of them. Uh, but I've also done like uh, shows like musical theatre where I did loads of touring in Europe and that was really good. Uh, been in all sorts of bands to be honest, a folk band, did a really lovely tour with the UK with a lovely singer. Uh, I've done musicals, all, all sorts really. Yeah, yeah very, quite varied. Are you still playing full time now? Not, not full time, okay. uh, part time. I'm in a band called the Penelopes, and they're like uh, two French guys, and we do gigs every few months, just sometimes in London, sometimes in Paris, and I'm teaching, and just functions and stuff. You were out in Paris recently, weren't you? Uh, a few months ago, okay. and I'm out there next month as well. So yeah, it keeps me busy. So, you want to start with the first track? Yeah, this is, um, this was just me and my friend who I met on tour. Nicest guy ever, amazing keyboard player. And we just kind of started jamming before shows, like sound check. And so we kind of just made some songs, and uh, so I'm going to play two of those songs. There's no lyrics, so I can't sing along, so there'll probably be loads of mistakes. Cool. And then I'm going to do two <laughs> songs of a, of a pop band that I played with okay. last year. So the first one is?
What time signature was that? Uh, four four. Uh, but then there was a bit of six eight in there. I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So four four. So well, why don't you explain? Okay. So four four is like four beats in a bar. I think you all know that, right? So it's one two three. So six eight is basically saying the bar is going to have six eighth notes in it. Okay, so it's going you're going to count it like this. One two three four five six. That makes sense, kind of. Yeah. So. Uh, so t going from 4-4 four, four to 6-8, I'll play it to you. So you're going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and like that. Want to make sense? Ish? Yeah. 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 Okay, don't quite move. <laughs> you want your next track? Yeah.
There's lots of old timer signatures in that one. Um, well, I'm not going to go into them. Because <laughs> uh, it took me a long time. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to talk about really was um, coming up with a drum part. I don't know, is anyone here in a band or looking to be in a band or one? That's it, cool. <laughs> um, well, I think one of the things that I, I really enjoy about drumming is coming up with my own drum part and just getting creative whenever I get a chance to play or whatever. And with that band I just played to, the beauty of it for me was that we had loads of hours on tour just to sit there and just play whatever. I could just play whatever I wanted, which is the best thing ever. Because um, I think quite frequently as drummers, we can think, oh, I probably should play this. Or, you know, this is the verse, so I should probably just play, you know. And to be honest, for lots of session stuff, yes, you should, because you don't want to be fired. Um, but for your own joy, I really think it's important to just sit and just play whatever you feel for any tune. Come up with what feels good to you. And just explore, you know, who says it needs to be over here? You could play just the floor tom. You could just play on the ride, for example. Um, I just think having that time is really important. And it, it means that you can discover what you really like with drums and what makes you different. Because that's, that's the brilliant thing about us drummers no two people are going to play the same. And that's awesome. So it means I can learn something from you, you can learn something from me, hopefully. And <laughs> it's, all, it's all cool, you know? And it's really great to find that in yourself. Just go and play, find out what you love, and keep doing it. Um, so I'm going to play um, a song by a band called Helen and the Sirens, which I was in a couple of years ago. And for this song, I mean, it is a pop song, so I kind of had to keep, you know, two and four on the snare, but I was really kind of struggling with what to play. And the singer, she said, uh, she doesn't really like cymbals. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so I just had to kind of keep it on the toms a bit, and I just was like, what? Well, I don't really know what to play. So let me just play you a clip of the verse so you know what I'm talking about. Pumping and uh, and I thought, okay, right, well I could just go But it felt really rushy to me, it felt a bit just not great. And I thought I could just go like that. But I, again I thought, nah, it's just it's not brilliant, you know, something else. <laughs> so I thought Maybe linear. I would like to do something linear. Does, do you guys know what linear means? Kind of? Do they? I know, yeah. You do? Yeah. Do you want to explain it? No, you're I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in my understanding, linear means that basically you're not playing more than one drum at a time. So you're going to do the bass drum, maybe the snare drum. Everything is separate. So instead of together, it's going to be that make sense? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I thought I would really like to do something linear. Maybe I can try and get it in this song. Didn't want to like crowbar it in, but but <laughs> so I thought, well let's keep the snare on two and four. So one, two, three, four. And the bass drum on beat one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I thought. Okay, let's chuck the hi hat in on the end of one. One, two, three. Uh, now, if I remember it. Uh, and then I thought, let's have the floor tom. Okay, so that's after the snare. So I'm going to go one and two. Three. 
make sense? You with me? Then I thought, let's make it a two bar phrase. So let's stay over here. One, two, three, and four. This sounds delightful. <laughs> So there is my groove I thought. Let me let me try it. So that is it. Who would like to come play it? <laughs> no? right. So that that was kind of my idea and that is it. That is all I play for the whole song, apart from there's these build up bits. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to I guess show you that you can get creative with a really simple pop song or with some simple parts. It doesn't have to be anything too complicated and it can feel like your own, your own thing, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. You have to go, uh, uh, go from the beginning. There's some singing at the beginning. Enjoy it. It's not me. <laughs> question with that band in particular it was a uh, like we're all in it together so I wasn't a hired gun for that it was just a, like a project of love I suppose um, but still in those situations sometimes it can be 
a sensitive area, you know, com songwriting and coming up with your own part. Um, but lucky for me, the singer was kind of open to collaborating. And I think that's a really good thing to look out for drummers is making sure you have that room to voice your opinion, what you want to play. Um, but yeah, for me, she was kind of open to it and we collaborated together. Um, but for some things, um, I mean, I've done some musicals, for example, where there wasn't a drum part written. So then I had to kind of come up with it. But it was very much a, a collaboration with the musical director. Um, and sometimes you do get leeway to come up with your own part with a singer or a band who are hiring you. Um, I think the thing is to not expect it and just kind of, you know, go will, go into it enthusiastic and uh, ready to play whatever they want you to play, really. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. What made you want to become a drummer? Uh, probably this guy right here. <laughs> E.T. Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think Michael Jackson, I know he's not a drummer, but I really like how he used to dance in time all the time, like really rhythmical. Um, and I used to dance as well, and I just like the beat. So I kind of just thought, yeah, I want to I want to do it. So then I went to Love and City. Yeah, ruined it all. <laughs> when you felt that you were a drummer? Like, what was the moment you went, I'm a drummer? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think when I joined my first band and we had loads of rehearsals and I, coming up with my own stuff, I think, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. Do you feel like a drummer? Not yet. Oh, you should. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you, oh, actually, I did want to just say, everyone who played, you're all amazing. Like, seriously, well done. Very inspiring. Remember that when someone that good tells you you're good, take note of it. No, we are, I was very impressed. Really I, good. I have one question. Yeah. So, obviously, you've got limited practice time at the moment. Yep. What do you work on? Oh. <laughs> 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 finding the time. <laughs> um, what am I working on? I was working on my um, inner clock, mm -hmm. like playing to a click. I think I've met, um, we've spoken about this. Does anyone know Benny Gwebb? Mm. You do. Mm. Look him up. He's amazing. He's just an uh, incredible drummer. And I'm sure Mark has. I'm sure you've got them playing to got them playing to a click, right? So what you do is, I am not going to demonstrate this. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. So you know how you have a click on, and you have to, you know, you play along, and that's usually on one, two, three, four. Benny Greb says what you should try and do is have the click on, but then move it. So oh God, how do I even explain it? So you'd move it, so you're hearing it as the upbeat eighth notes. So it's going, oh my God, I'm gonna have like to show one, you. Two, yeah. three, two, three, four. And, and that's, I've kind of been doing that. Um, and. That's very brave. Yeah, I've been doing that. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. And just, I've been trying to just um, enjoy playing a bit really, and just coming up with fills and stuff. Cause I, I feel like I'm, my fills, that, you know, that's part of my playing that I'm really like, you know, stumped at to really? be honest. Yeah. Blimey. Like chops. <laughs> whatever that is. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I just, you know, I, I need to kind of look at that a little bit, but you know, there's only so much time in the day. Yeah. So cool. Well can we give Kira a round of applause for what she's playing? Thank you so much. Amazing. I've stolen stuff from that second song. Yeah. Planet X influence obviously. The second one? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, what's the last song you're going to play? Uh, this is by uh, Helen and the Sirens again. It's a cover of The Power, which is an old song. But I think this might actually be quite loud. Okay. When it kicks in. I'll turn it down a little bit and then we'll start. So maybe, yeah, maybe adjust it. Okay. Sorry.